Ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Cheers. <gasps> we have... We have just quite the... <laughs> the quite, we're going to have quite the chat today. Yes. We have... Um, hold on, let me take a slip. We have Aperol Spritz to go. We just mm-hmm. went to brunch and we had a Bloody Mary and Aperol Spritz. We, we had a full night out last night. Oh my God. We got IV drips this morning and then went and drank yeah. more. <laughs> it's a cycle. <laughs> it's a vicious it's, cycle. It's just like the... Um, it's the circle of life. Circle of life. <laughs> It's the circle. I saw Lion King for my first time recently. So that's like been my motto lately. Yeah, like, circle of life. Circle Akuna of life. Matata. Akuna Matata. Like, Love that. I was telling Alex, I actually didn't ever connect that Timon and Pumbaa were from Lion King. I always knew the characters, but I hadn't seen the movie. I thought they were, were their own movie that I also hadn't seen. And they <laughs> fucking pop up halfway through the movie. I was like, crossover. Whoa, crossover episode. <laughs> the Hannah Montana. <laughs> that, sweet life, Zach and Cody. Yep. that was my shit. I remember when that was coming out and I literally like, I remember going home after cheer and like uh, grabbing my dinner and like sitting on the couch and like, yeah, what? like no, I remember, it was like a drop. It was a drop. It was the same way we watched a new episode of Love Island. Like, yep. I was humped and it, delivered speaking of love island should we say it <gasps> last night we were we went to a um a close jazz your bar. legs it's disrespectful to close your legs it smells <laughs> <laughs> we went to um the django which is a jazz club oh my god it was so fun it was so fun like everybody there was so cool whatever and food mid mm-hmm. not the point we were talking about what we're gonna do for my birthday. This is a big birthday for me. Twenty eight is um, it's my technically my golden year. I'm born March twenty eighth, so twenty eight is my golden year. But like beyond that, I have been excited for this age. Yeah, not even this birthday, but this age twenty eight since I was a kid. I don't know why. You just like have always wanted to be twenty eight. I've always wanted to be twenty eight. When I would meet twenty, like especially when I would meet twenty eight year old women, mm. like cheer coaches and stuff, I'd always be like, wow, right, like, like you're so cool. You're in such a cool time in your life, right? And I've lived with this excitement all my life and I am making sure that I'm still being open-minded though. I'm not going to like make it some crazy no, expectations. high expectations. Well, that's the thing. It's always just been a gut feeling. It's never been, right. I will be here in my life. Yeah. Cause like, it's just like you've had, I'm just excited to be 28. Yep. I'm excited to be like that old anyway. So I want it to be a great birthday, like something really, really cool. And Alex actually suggested, she goes, what if we did like a few days in London? Cause we're in New Cause York now. Yeah. It, the flight isn't, I mean, it's it's equidistant to going back to the, the West Coast. Yeah. So pick a fucking side. Of course, we're going to go to London. So we're going to London. Just for a weekend. For a weekend for my birthday. And I'm so fucking excited. Honestly, I made a vision board recently and travel was a really big part of it. And I did not think I'd be kicking off travel this early. Yeah, might as well. We're going Woo. to London. And then in April, we're going to Tulum. Right. And then we're going to Coachella. And then we're going to go to Bonnaroo. Like we have so much. <laughs> this is what we, this fun was on travel. Our- <laughs> Sorry, there we go. <laughs> this was on our list yes we're doing travel. it we're fucking doing it i'm just so excited so it's gonna be good why do we bring that up because um love island yes so we're going to try out for love island when we're, there. we're gonna go to tryouts i'd make it <laughs> but you like fake an accent the whole time yeah. i'm just like a plant like oh, bro. <laughs> uh, you mug me off you think i'm a mug bro. you're making me look like a mug. a mug so yeah last night was a lot of fun we uh planned a trip overseas we saw a great jazz show and then we went out we went to kind uh, regards yeah kind regards and then we also went to a smoke shop and oh. apparently i was haggling with this the smoke shop owner we literally <laughs> we were like about to go home like it was the end of the night and i was like hold on i want to like stop in here and get some weed and alex is like okay like we go in and he was like yeah it's like 35 dollars and she goes two for 70 <laughs> He was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's this. <laughs> but you were like, no, no, no. I said, I'll give you a kiss if you cut me a deal. Yeah. And then I think they, <laughs> they ended up taking like $5 off. Sure. But well, didn't you get the tray? Well, that, we paid for that. Separate. Separate. Yeah, we paid for that. Whatever. <laughs> I also got this, this rolling. Tr- Go grab it. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> okay. We're going to do a quick haul for you guys. This is everything we got from the smoke <laughs> shop last night. <laughs> so like I said, Alex haggling for weed whatever <laughs> so then she f- no i felt like i was playing monopoly right i got this oh whoops <laughs> there's literally a roll <laughs> he rolled he before we left he was like i i have bars rolling want me to roll one for you look how I have bars that no, that's so bad it looks like fucking link rolled it 
Anyway, I got this rolling tray. It's pure glass and it's the KFC logo, but it says <laughs> THC. <laughs> Look at his mouth. He has it's a joint. It's so mouth. good. It's so That's good. staying out here. Oh no, this is gorgeous. <laughs> like we're putting like Lalabo candles on it and shit. Like, it's so nice. And then I got some just OG CBD gummies. I just, all jokes aside, I just feel like I want something to curb my anxiety during the week, but I don't want to be high. Yeah. I just want something to like help a little bit. And then do you remember this, Alex? We got hella candy. Oh, we got a no. <laughs> snicker. With a half open peanut brownie. <laughs> And then we got a Kit Kat. We also went to our bodega on our way home and I got a whole chicken Caesar wrap. I also got... I'm sorry, did you get a Babe Ruth? <laughs> I fucking love Babe Ruth. You're trash. <laughs> I also... You know the bagel that I got for this morning? Yeah, I was like, I'm just thinking ahead. No, you're like... No, yeah, you, no, you said this. You said... <laughs> I said, she's eating her Caesar wrap and she has something else wrapped next to her. I was like, what's that? She's like, oh no, he gave this to me for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like you made it sound like like he did it. Okay, we got- no, He's looking out for me. Snickers almonds. We got peanut M&Ms. What else is in Superior. here? Superior. If you get regular M&Ms, oh. you're so bunk. Okay, wait. I remember these. The Reese's Nut Rages. <laughs> No, Link, this is chocolate. Yeah. And then um, a, when we were walking out, I stole this lighter. <laughs> He for sure saw me though. Like he gave me the nod. Like we're, no we're cool. <laughs> we're chill. We're no, we're chill. We're allowed back. So uh, yeah, that was our that was our night last night, and we okay, Link, figure it out. We just we love being like giggly hungover. It's there's two types of hangovers. You're either like couch to ridden, the couch, can't talk to anybody, no like bright lights, no loud noises. Like you just need to like focus on breathing. Or there's like the fun like giddy hungover. I'm so glad it's one of those days. I I knew it would be cuz we haven't been out in so long. We're also talking about that. I last night was the yeah. first night that I had gone out since New Year's. I've been doing this since Thursday though. Right. I mean, you've had a week. <laughs> but like I like selfishly. I'm, no, yeah, like, you, this I'm was so, you needed this. I needed this. I mm -hmm. needed to like get out and go have fun. I've been in the house just like sulking in my stench, but uh, it, it was so much fun. And we've wanted. We knew this episode topic would be so good in this kind of mind. Yes. So like, we're. I mean. The past few episodes that we've done have just been a little bit on the heavier side. So we were like, let's just do something fun. Lighthearted. Lighthearted. But honestly, like. This is going to be so good. It's going to be so good. But like me still giving it a fucking deeper meaning. Like. It's appreciation. It's appreciation for life. I found that too. So, I, when I was making my list, I found it too. Yeah. So it's like as silly as it is. And we're going to have so much fun like debating. And I can't wait to like hear your guys' answers to everything. We're still exercising that. It's still like it's, yep. it's a big meaning for me right now so but as always before we get into it let's do song of the day what are we wearing you, she's wearing cargos on the couch that's weird should I take them off no i'm wearing some polo or some ralph lauren polo socks because i'm fancy mm. and uh these cargos are from urban i think yes i remember yes. when you got those urban i love them i love them i don't wear them enough i, I love think. urban pants yeah urban pants are good. they just do it right they do it right um and i like their little like the three line stitch the mm -hmm. red stitch yep. it's nice and yet again my i think i wore this like two episodes ago <laughs> <laughs> my kid cutty hoodie it's it's one that we keep on the or like i keep on the coat rack so i always grab it i used to go for my car heart but like this replaced that's it. it that's like it's the hood is so, it's so deep. good i love how like much hood there is yes and there's no strings i like that too yeah i think strings are unnecessary at this point why do we need them? I do. You do like, the thing. I do the thing. I always sit out on the couch and I pull my strings and I have a little butthole face and I like to like watch TV like that. So it's nice sometimes, but like when I'm out and about, no way. I don't want the fucking strings. Um, what am I wearing? Uh, leggings with dog hair all over it. And then my leg warmers from, I think these might be from Urban, which is some white socks. And then my big crew neck. God, I've had this for Also years. from Urban. Oh, we're just like walking Urban. I hate that yeah that's kind of annoying whatever but that's what we're wearing what's your song of the day i've been on a little bit of a jt kick i heard you listening to in the shower i was like yeah singing to myself like a it's, yes it's a good I'm kick a, to be on i'm in a phase losing my way by Great. justin timberlake such a good song if you it's one of his like i would say like lesser known ones from yeah. this specific album this just uh future sex love song sounds just has like so many hits mm-hmm and like this one, I have always felt never got. I didn't get the like attention radio plays and shit. Right. Yeah. And it's But so it's good. so fucking good. Uh, my song of the day is Not Fair featuring Corbin by the Kid Leroy. Good nice. shit. Did you see that uh, TikTok going around of the Kid Leroy singing live and Justin Bieber? And he's like, he's on like the side hunched stage. over. Oh yeah. my God. Like his voice is yes. like 
I feel like we 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 look past the fact that he has such a beautiful voice. He's yeah. not he's not just hot stuff. No. He's got a great voice. It's not all face. It's not all face. He has a great voice. Yeah. Also, Haley Bieber got a haircut, if you guys right. are wondering. So also Drake had a show in New York last night that we just didn't fucking know about and I would have been there I, front row. I would have spent all my money to get those tickets. Yeah. I just didn't know. Mm -mm. Like how do people know about shows? <laughs> I what was going through like my old videos oh my god and <laughs> i found a video from coachella 2015 i'll play it for you guys at 11 and 52 p.m it's 11 52 p.m it's like a five second video it's like it's like the floor of coachella right it's just like the it's, it's just like black, black and like i it was an accidental video it's right. three seconds long but, but listen this to the is, audio this is what it is That's and it, it just cuts <laughs> I, like the fact that I got just the that best piece. part of the song. Like, you're like, all right, that's enough. No, I'm keeping that forever. It's such a good video. Okay, so the inspiration behind this episode, I almost said this video. This episode is the trend going around on TikTok where people are doing draft picks for yeah. different categories. Want to call out that one podcast that does it? Yes, the F R D I show. We referenced one of their TikToks where they were doing, was it smells? I think they it was smells. smells. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're draft picks for smells. So the way this is going to work is we each have five each of our top, our top favorites of the following categories. Smells, worst textures, worst sounds, beauty must haves, chip brands, best things only women understand, attractive things men do and lastly recess activity hey. <laughs> so we curated all these topics and we're gonna go back and forth and say our draft picks but the catch here if i say one that's on alex's list and i say it before you i already drafted them it's already drafted so then you have to go to your next one Shit. and like you see you see how draft works so um our first <laughs> our first category is going to be our favorite smells we should uh let's go back and forth who goes first okay cool you can go first i'll go first my number one draft pick for my favorite smell is garlic. Okay. Classic. classic Everybody garlic. loves it. It always smells good. Now, raw? Just. Or like roasted? When you're cooking with garlic, generally it just kind of smells the house. I'm talking about like the house. Okay. Like, or think about the kitchen because it doesn't always go to the whole house. Right. When you're Depends walking on the size in the, of the kitchen. House. Right. You walk in the kitchen, someone's cooking with garlic, that smell. Okay. Nothing specific. And you just, know it's garlic. You, exactly. You right. know that you're whipping up like either a crazy ass stir fry or some like garlicky butter. Yep. Like garlic bread or something. Barlet grid. Barlet grid. Barlet grid. Okay, What's your first? my my number one draft pick is Soren over California, the Napa Valley part. The oranges? Yes, the citrus. Yes. So you know that's gone now? Yeah, and it makes me really sad. I won't I won't write it now. It's soaring over the world. It's still really cool. Like it's not worse. It's just different. Yeah, just don't fix it if it ain't broke. You know what I mean? It's so cool though. You get to go over like the Taj Mahal. Sick. And it smells like I think that part smells like like flowers or something right so if you don't know there it's a oh, multi-sensory right. experience where you are like lifted you're suspended up on like a and you have a, a big cliff. <laughs> you have a big screen in front of you and you are soaring over like different parts of the world it used to be soaring over california and it would go from south to north all through the redwoods um up in northern california there's a part where you're soaring over i think it's right before napa or is it in Napa? I don't remember the citrus fields if they were in Napa. I think, aren't the citrus fields like off the five? Maybe. I just remember. Oh, you're right. Maybe drive. getting to Napa. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think they're fully Napa yet. Um, But there's a part where you're soaring over a whole bunch of orange trees and it's like they, they like pump really, they, citrus mist. Yes. And it's the best smell. It's a great smell. Okay. My second one is fresh linen. Nice. Slash laundry. It's my favorite candle scent. It's like the best smell to me. It's there's a reset every time I smell it. It's my favorite. It's definitely like a mood setter. Exactly. Okay. Number two, campfires. Yes. Campfires, campfires. are good. It's just, it's and, so nostalgic. And when you still smell it, campfire, and then you go back into your tent yes. and you go to sleep and like it still it's smells. It's on you. It's, it feels Ooh, good. It's, the best. it's extra cozy. Yep. Uh, my third is weed. Nice. That's a good one. Weed, smoke, weed, all everything weed just smells so fucking good to me. That's nostalgic for me. Yeah. Yeah. Number two. Or sorry. Three. Number three. Freshly sharpened pencil. 
Oh, yeah. Pencil shavings? Yep. Pencil shavings. Unmatched. Yep. These are really nostalgic. Yeah. I guess that I, 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 I went there for smells. Yeah. All right. My next one. You ready for this? <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. <gasps> Kristen McAtee. <laughs> it came to mind. I was like, that. I should have put that the in the first The fact that one. we both did. Like rides. rides. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. That's a good one. I know. I Pirates found, of the Caribbean. I found a, I forget the name. I, I wish I could shout them out. I just forget the name. There was a candle brand. <gasps> that literally has made the Pirates of the Caribbean scent in a candle. Can you describe it for the people who've never been? Ooh, uh, okay. God, the way I'm going to describe it, I'm scared. A, it's not going to do it just, justice, and B, it's going to like steer you wrong. There's there's a lot of chemicals in the water of Pirates of the Caribbean because it's obviously indoors. Like it's right, relatively it's so stagnant. Old. It's old. Like they have to keep it really clean. So it is a scent of like chlorine, but not your average chlorine. No. <laughs> And I think Sorry, it I'm has acid reflex. Uh, <laughs> I think it has something to do with the fact that it's dark. It's dark, and there's so much wood. Yeah, so think about like wet wood, like um, oh, that's such a good smell. wet wood saline. It's very like it's very outdoorsy. It's not like salt water. It's not like oceany. No. Think of like like a lake or a river. Like it's that very almost like piney. Oh God, I can't explain it. But it's great if you know, you know. It's the best fucking scent. That should have been my first one. Such a good one. Such a good one. Okay, number four, Hawaiian Tropic, dark tanning coconut oil. Ooh, it does smell It good. just smells like summer. It smells, it's cozy, it's lake, you're a little buzzed, you're sun yep. drunk. You're tan. You're, tan, you're right, you're, you're sun soft, drunk. You're warm. Oh. Yeah, no, that's a good one. Uh, my fifth one is gasoline. Mm. I love a gas station. Some people hate it, some people love it. it and that's really it. There's only, it's black or white. There's I went nobody to, that's like, eh. I saw my first gas station in a really long time. I went to Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, whoa. No, literally I drove by. I was like, what's up? Right? Like oh, an old friend. Yep. Um, I remember when I was younger, we would go to the gas station and I really liked the smell. And I remember being like, why do I like the smell? And I remember my mom being like, oh no, a lot of people like it. Like I thought there was like, like nobody else liked it. Right. And she was like, no, this is that and Sharpies. It's like how people, some people like the smell of skunk. Oh, I love the smell of skunk. Cause mm -hmm. it reminds me, me of too. weed a little bit. Right. It's that same thing. That's my fifth one though. What's your fifth? Barbecue on a Saturday in the summer. Okay. So I'm just going to say for each category, we did create extras just in case we, we overlapped. overlapped. Is and that one of them? That was my sixth one was barbecue smoke. And in parentheses, I wrote rebels games. Yes. So I like cookout. Um, do you remember that spot in North Hollywood yes. that we would drive by? And I would, would literally smell like, like oh, a backyard bar. Yes. Yes. Backyard barbecue smell. Oh, oh my God. That was everything. It was, um, uh, Burbank Boulevard and, uh, uh, Vineland, Vineland and Burbank Boulevard in yep. North Hollywood. There's a cookout place right outside and it's just that whole block smells like Saturday when you're young and you're having a cookout with family. Like, oh. That's a good one. Yep. Okay. The next category is worst textures. Okay. You go first. Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. Oh, I don't mind those. Uh uh. When they start to like chalk up and like. It's definitely gross, but I get, mm -hmm. I get you. I get Ugh. you. It makes my like skin crawl. Yeah. No, all of these make my skin crawl. That's mm -hmm. already my reaction just like reading this. Um, my first one's going to be dry napkin on wet teeth. <laughs> my neck my next one's close to that <laughs> my mother god or bless her soul that woman she's when so she's weird. she's so out of pocket mom i know you're listening you're so out of pocket when she's finished eating i love you but this is the most scarred me sick thing anyone so, could so do sociopath. when she's finished eating she grabs a paper napkin not even like your little cloth one that like your your cutlery is wrapped up in like no. paper napkin and wipes her teeth no like squeak, 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 like that rubs her teeth oh i'm like shaking i'm quivering i'm, I'm, getting, a, I'm getting a rash i'm shook <laughs> no it's literally like oh okay mine's no mine's on the same same playing field okay um biting an old t-shirt oh no i hate i hate it i hate it i want to rip my teeth out fuck i want to rip out my front <laughs> my front four front four gotta go yes oh, old t-shirt in between your teeth. Okay, I'm moving on. <laughs> I can't talk about this. <laughs> Ugh, this is the worst. Why do we do this? <laughs> My second one is going to be cotton balls. I cannot stand the, the texture of cotton balls. And I hate when you're pulling cotton balls out of a fresh bottle of vitamins. Oh, oh, that doesn't bite me. it skims the sides of the bottle. Uh. No. <laughs> that no. doesn't, doesn't mm. bug me. Oof. 
I can barely use Q-tips. Like, I ugh, cotton just fucks me up. Okay, number three. Like, wet food in the sink. Fuck. Is that yours, too? Yep. Damn. I got him. We got... Okay, so <laughs> I need to scratch one. Okay, that's okay. But I fucking agree with you on that. It's Ugh. awful. My third one is going to be... <laughs> you're going to hate this one. Dry, calloused heels Ugh. or feet in socks. Putting on... <laughs> Put lotion on. When it... Grow up. When it crackles when you're putting Stop on a sock. Stop it. No, sometimes I'll hear, like... I'll be over on the other side of the couch and I'll hear Kristen's heel like scraping up against our couch. I have really dry feet. I have pretty, you know what? My mom does it's too. It's gotta thing. be hereditary. I don't know. Cause <laughs> we both, we, my mom and I both have just like cracked ass heels. It's so sick. No, I mean, it's on my list. I know. You don't have to fucking <laughs> rub it in. Okay. Um, wet socks. Oh fuck. That was my next one too. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. My next one. Cause I have to take four and five off. Cause you just said them when you're going to reach to open your car door and your nail scratches uh, your car door because you overshot the grab <laughs> what the fuck made you think of that i, don't, I was That's i was sick. in a dark and place. you know what specifically an older car with the paints where the, where the paints like, and there's uh, like chipped a, off and there's like a coat of pollen on the car so you're also <gasps> i'm sorry oh my god that was no, so apologize. that's so bad no that's so bad i'm so sorry um clay pots fist spot yeah clay pots um like nails like terracotta yeah terracotta pots no make uh, them smooth make them smooth literally clear nail polish anything oh. like make it smooth yeah that's a good one fuck okay uh so this would be that was your fifth one uh-huh okay so my last one's gonna be <laughs> putting back on a wet bathing suit oh <laughs> no like, like lake day you want to go back out right. on a jet ski but like but like you had to poop yes no that that's another one i have but we're, yeah. we didn't go that far i said going to the bathroom when you're wet outside the pool <laughs> and you no, have to like it's the i wouldn't wash it on my worst enemy but like it's once it's on you just have to like okay i just need to get in the water and then i'll i'll be all wet and it'll match right but when you're dry no. and you put that shit back on like uh, i wonder if guys experience that Probably, probably that probably net care. shit. They probably don't care. Yeah. Though. Guys are their shit's like <laughs> They stay like their sh like Yeah, that. Their, their shit's always uncomfy. They're always moist. Okay, next category is worst sounds. <laughs> okay. I'm excited for this one. Are you ready? Uh, I think I go first for this yes. one, right? Yes, okay. yes, yes. So my number one worst sound is loud ass motorcycles and trucks <laughs> and or trucks when you're just like enjoying your outdoor <laughs> fucking brunch and they just <laughs> like has obnoxious ass fucking honda civic relax it sounds like a fucking folgers can is your exhaust pipe like it's so bad we're all thinking the same thing. You have a small penis. It's Saturday. Let me You enjoy. probably got an Illa sticker on no. your fucking car. 100%. And they have a scratch on their bumper, but don't worry. There's a Band-Aid sticker yeah. on it. Like, ugh. So annoying. So annoying. Oh my God. That's so good. <sighs> my my top spot, fork screeching on the plate. Yeah. That, I, I knew had that had to be on the list. Somewhere. I had That's, to do it. It's it's a it's a worldwide experience. Yeah, I love Leanna's reaction. Leanna's no, fun to like she, do it too. Yeah. <laughs> like we used to like we used to fuck with her. <laughs> she gets angry. No, yeah, like she it's will, almost like, ended our hands. friendship. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck. Okay, this next one. This might be a little niche, but I knew you would at least understand. Okay, you're chewing on your nails <gasps> or your skin, and your tooth. Yep. <laughs> you know what I, yeah you that's how my that's how my tooth cracked oh it was that noise <laughs> yeah and it's in your head because your mouth is closed yes so you hear it and it's like it's your tooth it's the equivalent of a fork on a plate but your two teeth doing that yeah your tooth like interacts with another tooth and it's just the most vile sound and it only happens when you're chewing on your nails Ooh. or your and skin. it gets you like it hits you so unexpectedly always always you think you're going steady oh i've been doing this all my life chomp chomp chomp, chomp boo 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 and then oh and you're like all right i need to stop this habit it's, forever it makes me quiver i know i knew you'd get that one yay Ooh. i'm so glad that one hit for you <laughs> <laughs> okay number what's your number two all right chihuahua barks <laughs> <laughs> number two spot only chihuahuas 
fuck that <laughs> wait, wait i have a really good tool no, listen to this, guys. no i can't do it on what? camera yes you can come on the Alex. face i have to make do you want to put a pillow in front of your face <laughs> just give them the noise come on the world must know so i've had a chihuahua my home my parents it's like a, a 36 year old chihuahua. <laughs> yeah and they all live to be like fucking 82 <laughs> not dog ears like human ears <laughs> no he's 15 his name's boomer and he is just like a fucking character <laughs> he bark i can i can literally i've heard it so much i can mimic his bark yes come on okay i might i, 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 I might need to practice <laughs> go 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 <laughs> wait <laughs> that's not it Lily. hold on <laughs> keep it in <laughs> keep all this in come on i'm nervous <laughs> that last one was state of the art that was so good no, that needs to be in a museum wow Holy good fuck. job alex oh my god thank you she's so does, annoying so to give you a visual her mouth goes 23 degrees to the left <laughs> she has to like no, corner the sorry. acoustics of her jaw that's why she didn't want you to show see her face <laughs> she has to move her jaw i have a really sick video of me doing it oh my god my head hurts from holding it up holy fuck yeah number two spot oh my god <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay this one i feel like is pretty universal but undeniable chewing with your mouth open just God. but i'm gonna go a little bit broader um what are they chewing wet mouth noises kissing uh, doing like ew, like sucking ew, shit out of your teeth like just any overly moisturized mouth noises it makes me like my immediate thought is to their spit exactly and like i don't want to be thinking about your from. spit exactly so like smacking, kissing, like oh, smacking. I understand a passionate kiss. Don't get me wrong. I understand it could be wet and dirty sometimes, but Ugh. like when it's like every kiss is just like like gross <laughs> or like when reality show like Love Island does this a lot when people yes. are kissing and they keep the audio keep like the au they like turn it dim up. yeah they dim or turn up the audio yeah it's <laughs> okay here's my next one scratching dry skin hair like hairy dry skin so you know what I think about when I think With, about like, that thin nails you no know, like. Uh, they have to be thin. real nails not yeah. acrylics nope. like what my nails are right now i think about all the, all the dead skin. cells the skin. under yes. your nails and you're just like <laughs> like flaking you're, it's, up. And it's literally like getting in the air yeah. like stop doing that yes i mean if you have an itch scratch it so <laughs> not around me not, <laughs> not in this house Alex. okay next one worst sound throwing up the sound of vomit the sound of just some people are so sensitive i know to that. sorry if you are we'll stop talking about it but i don't think i need to explain that one no, much yeah more. that's a that's a big one yeah. um someone clipping their toenails oh you don't like the noise no because i'm on autom yeah. i'm automatically thinking about your toenails yeah it's one of those things like i definitely don't enjoy it but i'm also like you gotta do what you gotta do yeah but if i'm like in the distance and i hear it i'm like oh yeah it's you know? it's just it's just one of those noises that make you stop what you're doing and acknowledge it. it yeah when like you don't need to be and it's like i don't even have to be in the room to know what you're doing right it's the same it's a universal sound yes <laughs> okay that's a good one this is my last one for this category when you get into your car and you turn it on and your radio blasts. Oh. <laughs> you forgot to turn down your radio the last time you got out of your car. It's just so loud. That's the worst. And you're just not ready. Oh my God. My, my grandpa used to do this to my grandma. If he was driving us anywhere before we got out of the car, he'd be like, okay, wait, like warning, I'm going to blast the radio. He'd blast it and then turn off the That's car. So fucked. So he'd purposely, when my grandma would get in the car next, it'd be like, <laughs> -da -da -da, like all in her <laughs> i'm that's gonna do so that cute i love that he used to do that to her no, that's, that's very so cute my grandpa's like the Dick ultimate move. <laughs> ultimate prankster he used to um i don't I feel like i've never really like, told you this part about my grandpa he uh he used to be an um an x-ray technician and back in like the 90s when he did it x-ray machines were i mean it was a lot more raw materials it wasn't electronic yeah it was lead and chlorine and like all these like sh the stuff so he has hella lead in the garage like till this day he still Whoa. has hella lead and when people would come over for like holidays birthdays whatever everybody's purses keys were like the front and he would put like cubes of lead and oh, purses what? and people would be like why is my shit so heavy no it only takes a little bit of lead to be heavy and yeah like, and they'd be like Wait, what is like it was that's the type of pranks just he does. like harmless yes or he would do um he used to collect keys 
I think he just like started not caring about the collection as much anymore and he started like altering the motive of his collection. Same thing, keys, purses are at the front door. Everybody's in the back enjoying the party. He would loop on keys to like people. random keys? Yes, and he thought it was so funny because he's like, I remember him telling me, so like, Grandpa, why do you do that? He was like, well, if you found a, a what seemed to be random key on your key ring, you wouldn't get rid of it because you'd think, oh, oh I, I need, need this for, for something. something. <laughs> so he would just- That's so genius. Oh, this is my last one. But he would also, when Monica and I would have our backpacks there after school, again, we'd be on the back playing whatever. He'd stuff our backpacks with tortillas. <laughs> and we wouldn't notice. Loose tortillas? Loose tortillas. <laughs> oh my God, and we wouldn't it's notice. Unhinged. No, literally. We wouldn't notice until the next day at school. And like, we'd just be like, oh, Grandpa, you put tortillas <laughs> in my backpack again. What about you? Like, <laughs> he's such a weird guy. Not crazy, Grant. No, Papa. Papa. <laughs> new, new. <laughs> Oh, I love that man. Oh, He's great. God, uh, great. Your fifth one. I oh, uh, fifth worst sound for me is screeching brakes. Yeah, that's Classic. one of those on my list too. Ooh. Yeah, brutal. I'm always like, get your shit fixed. Yes. Like I'm always like, I'm gonna give them like a fifth. Not only is ticket. it like so annoying, but it's also so dangerous. Yeah, but squeaky brakes don't always mean there's something wrong. Mm. Brand new brakes squeak too, so like it, they could be oh, very safe. Then they're just annoying. Just you have to drive around a little bit. If you get new brakes and they're squeaky, like slam on your brakes. You have to like break in your brakes. Oh. Just fun fact. Okay, we're going to switch gears a little bit. This one's going to be beauty must-haves. So we wanted to throw in like our um our like top five faves for you guys. Skincare, makeup, whatever it might be. I'm going to open the Snickers. Hey, run it. <laughs> no, I might hit that Babe Ruth in a minute. That's super weird. Top spot, tweezers. Oh. You got to have a pair of tweezers. I don't use them because if i do i like pick up my face with them like i've told myself Mm. you like hey Kristen, you cannot have tweezers interesting i love tweezers i love picking some stray hairs but also if you got a splinter tweezers yeah i mean that's like an emergency right they're just so like they're so multifunctional you always need a pair of tweezers Mm. snickers almond is good i oh my have never been a snickers person i like them frozen like i should have froze up Oh my god! You sound like um Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> That's good. Wow. Okay, my number one is the Zit Sticka brand. They have a serum sunscreen, so good. I think it's called like Mega Shade or something. And Zit Sticka is a acne friendly type, like type of brand. So their um their sunscreen doesn't break me out. Mm, nice. Does do others? Yeah. Interesting. So it's like. And it's, I like that it's thin like a serum. So it's not this like thick layer or anything. It's like, it feels like you're just putting on another like step of your skincare. Mm. And it's SPF 50, which is great. Okay. Number two spot, L- the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask oh, in Berry. Oh, that's good. You in Berry. It, and like. Uh, <laughs> and Berry. In Berry. In Berry. And you have to like use it at night. Use it, like put it on before you go to bed. And I swear to God, you're going to wake up with the softest lips. It's really nice. Are you gonna crack those open too? I already did. My number two my sorry. <laughs> my number two product is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I think this concealer is even better than Shape Tape. Shape Tape for me is A, too high coverage, and B put <laughs> three fingers. <laughs> B and B. One and B. One and B. <laughs> it's um too drying. And the crease creaseless concealer is like very I think it's like oil based. It's very like moisturizing and I like that. Like touch under my eyes right now. Like you see how it's like dewy. Yeah, it's nice. And I don't set it because I like day to day. I just like spot conceal and I like to have dewy stuff. And it really doesn't crease. No. Wow, and I, I have like fine lines under my shit. And Me it too. Just, and it, it doesn't crease. I don't and I don't set it. If I set it whenever <clears throat> that's my problem. Whenever I set under eyes, that's when it, it creases for me. Me too. So I think we're just at a point where like we're getting mature skin. Like we don't have baby skin anymore. Right. And more powder shows more detail. You're so right. I think that's why we like dewy stuff now. Just like you look more alive too. That's why pro tip. Try not to, unless you have like an actual spot you need to cover, but don't put concealer on your forehead. It makes you look like you're wearing more makeup. Yes. No, I've thought that too. Like mm-hmm. I'll spot conceal. I'll have like some. Right. Like spots, if I want to cover like a, a pimple for sure. But like the full like tease own routine that people do i'm like it no. makes you look like you're wearing so much makeup yeah at least for our skin um okay number what are we at three the yeah. super goop glow screen good shit oh my god i love it i'm i was never really a, a sunscreen on the face person mm-hmm. but i love how it it's a little tinted and it makes me look super like literally dewy. glowy yeah it's yeah. really nice 
Supercoop is a great brand. If you are, if you're somebody who like doesn't wear sunscreen, but you know you want to, but like you haven't found one that you like, they have so many and there's so many different textures. Mm -hmm. They're, um, uh, I think it's just like their, I forget the name of it, but it's like their norm, like their uh, original formula is like the texture of, if you've used Pore Professional by Benefit, it's that like silicone texture. Love that. Sits so well under makeup. Another brand that's really good for sunscreen is Kula. That was the first sunscreen I ever got into. Same thing. It's like mineral based, which is great for acne prone skin. And it sits so well under makeup. Those are the, the three brands we've said, Kula, Supergoop, and Zit Sticka. Good place to start. Good place to start. If you have acne prone skin, Regardless, everybody needs to be wearing sunscreen. My number three is going to be the Benefit Blush in the shade Moon. Love. Oh, M-O-O-N-E. It's this like deep, almost like cranberry shade, yeah. like mauve cranberry. It's beautiful. When I first saw it, I was like, this might be kind of dark. But Alex and I have like very, we both have olive skin mm-hmm. and something with olive tones, deeper tones. It's like, it brings out like, Ooh, it's, it's such so a nice. beautiful warmth. It's not like like I always thought I needed like like pinky. Like I always thought like mm. I'm like fair like not fair, but like I have light. My face is very light. My body no, yeah. but like my face is pretty light. Um, I always thought I needed like super pink, like the Dior blush that like went viral and shit. And I would right. try it or like the Charlotte Tilbury, and I was like, this is like I look like a kid. I look yeah. like a kid playing with like makeup. costume makeup exactly. But Moon is like deep enough to where it's like romantic and like it looks like it looks like the natural flush of your skin. Yep, that's that's how you pick your blush color is like go off your natural flush color. I need another Aperol. You want some of mine? No, thank you. Um, Number four, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I have used this stuff for years, probably like seven years now. Yeah. It is, but like, I'm not a big, I recently started using the um uh Charlotte Tilbury. Is it Charlotte Tilbury? No. Yeah, Flawless Filter. The Flawless Filter. Yeah. Um, On like full, like nights out and shit, like I'll do foundation, but I'm never like a everyday foundation wearer. No, me either. The, um... Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer is the perfect coverage. I have it in like three shades. I have like my summer. each season. Yep. Um, And it's just makes your like natural tone even. It's the perfect and it's moisturizer, moisturizer, obviously. So like, I don't know. It's the best fucking thing. Skincare and makeup together. I'm actually allergic to that. (laughs) Have you tried the new one? No. They've changed their formula. They changed their formula like a few years ago. I figured I like I will if I need to. Right. Like I I just I don't care to. But yeah. I was on set for TRL and we were, it was like a rush shoot. So like mm. things had to move really quick and they put it on my skin. Immediate reaction. We had to like Whoa. delay the shoot only like 30 minutes. Like we, we took it off immediately. It, it wasn't like a crazy reaction cause it, we took it off, but we had to let my skin cool down. Like it got like puffy. And Whoa. It, was, it was like a welt where they had just put it. It was like a pretty quick reaction too. That's weird. crazy. Honest Beauty is also a really good CC cream. We both just kind of discovered that. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. I really like that. It's pretty. Oh, it's nice. It's a coverage. little. I I'm big on like the texture. It's a little mm. watery for me. Yeah. It is um, watery. The Laura Mercier feels like a like a heavy moisturizer. Creamy. Yep. Yeah. Um. Okay. And number four product, the Cetaphil moisturizing cream. It comes in a tub. Liza got me on this. I went and when she was, oh my god, you need to try it. I was like, it's literally just like moisturizing cream. Like it can't be that good. We were at the Billboard Music Awards. My legs were ashy shit, and she was like, put this on. It literally creates like a glow within, and there's oh. there's no glitter in it, in it or anything. It's just like such a good moisturizer. Ah. That like, oh, it's just it's so good. And as we've said on this podcast, I'm not a big lotion girl because like I don't like the feeling of it on my skin. But this moisturizing cream from Cetaphil, it. It does um, absorb quick. So I'm not like staying sticky. I want to try it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I have some. Okay, my top five spot is perfume. Any perfume. Okay. But like mine is Versace Bright Crystal. That's mm-hmm. my favorite. Um, I actually was never like a big perfume person until um, I moved in with my boyfriend at the time and we had another roommate and she always smelled so good like on nights out and shit she would always get complimented and i'm like i've never been like a perfume person what do you yeah. wear and i've i tried it and like it fits and i've always worn it it smells so good my favorite versace bright crystal my mom wore that growing up too so it's it, it has multiple meanings in my life yep like i think of my mom but then i also like it takes me back to auckland mm-hmm. whenever you whenever you wear it you only wear it on nights out too yep. you don't wear it like during the day and it i always think like oh it's time to go out like it makes me think like party party yep. time <laughs> i just got a new uh perfume i just showed alex this morning from replica lazy sunday mornings i'm wearing it right now oh it smells so good so good okay my number five product is the road lip peptide treatment 
the lip gloss it's so good it's so worth it her other products eh they're pretty mid they're mm. pretty like i would give those to like a young girl who's trying to get into skincare but like for someone with like 28 year old skin i don't think it does shit it's one of those skincare lines where i'm like it's only good if you have perfect skin already right if you're actually trying to like take care of your skin i don't think it's good but the lip stuff so good i never so, really so good. tried it it's weird to like try your lip stuff also no i don't care okay we drink off the same drinks it's the same thing that's true you can try it if you want it's not like sharing milk no okay i'm gonna give it a whirl <laughs> Okay, next category, a category that we are very passionate about, chip brands. Chips, 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 my favorite fucking snack. Um, my number one spot, Takis. Damn it. Is that your number one? No, that was my number two. Shit. Fuck. What's your number one? My number one is the jalapeno cheddar Cheetos. Yes. Oh, the green bag. The green bag, you guys, I used to eat. My mom would get like the big Costco, to, like- Of the mini bags. Of the mini bags. Like big Costco, but I bags. would get home from school and probably have like four bags. They're so good. They're so They're fucking good. They're perfectly seasoned. Oh, oh, I could fuck up a bag right now. They're good. Okay, my number two- the salt and vinegar kettle chips fuck oh shit that's on my list too but that was Ooh, my number six they're making my mouth water oh they're so oh, good they're so no when i think good. about them yes like yeah. oh god the texture oh, i get like the so little good. zing from the vinegar yes yeah, so, like your jaw gets all tight yes oh, oh so good <laughs> all right my number two funyuns oh good one alex <laughs> i have not thought about funyuns in a minute they are so good they're so fucking good funyuns are a road trip snack absolutely that's they're a, camp they're a camping snack yeah you bring you bring funyuns camping that's the only time you're allowed to eat them um number three i'm gonna go og nacho doritos nice i love a classic with a sandwich with a salami sandwich yeah do you duo. put it in the sandwich oh yeah okay that's good i can get with that yep um you're gonna go crazy over this one Tostitos hint of lime. Oh, those remind me of Vincent. Yes, those remind me of her brother. Oh my God, Tostitos hint of lime. No, rewrote our childhood. I will eat the whole bag oh in one my sitting. God. Alex's house always had them, and they're big chips. Yeah, they're like they're three huge. by four inch <laughs> chips. They are so delicious. They're so fucking good. I, like they were for sure designed to be like a dipper chip, but no eat them alone solo never dip hint of lime there's my should we go get a bag watering. like <laughs> oh my god i'm doing like the wet mouth thing i said i hate because yes. i'm fucking salivating so much <laughs> okay my number four. Ooh, alex you're gonna like these purple doritos hey oh my god how did i not think of those those oh. aren't on my list i don't need what is it sweet chili like i don't even the know sweet the, sweet chili sweet chili yeah the purple Holy bag of doritos fuck, you guys our high school used to serve these same but yes. she would go through a kajillion bags of cheddar jalapeno <laughs> thing i would go through a kajillion bags of these in our 15 minute break before the next <laughs> class like oh my oh. god they're so fucking good so fucking good and doritos does the good like like tostitos the residue yeah. from the trip is just like they, they, they nailed it they've mastered it yeah okay um i don't know what number we're on is this four yes four uh garden salsa sun chips mm, absolutely alex garden salsa I, they great. remind me of uh after school in elementary school my brother loves garden salsa sun Tracks. chips <laughs> Tracks. um yeah those are good the the texture sun chip texture is just right. like that's like 80 percent of my enjoyment when i eat those when they change their branding though the oh loud ass bags hot. yeah too loud i don't want that mm -hmm. i want an og all right my last favorite chip you ready for this snyder's honey mustard pretzels <gasps> I didn't know we were allowed to go pretzel. I guess you're right. That doesn't. Okay. I just thought I. I mean, I think I'm not against chips. it. Do you want me to say another one? Kind of. Okay. Because like, like, can you agree those are no, fucking fire? They like deserve their own category. You're right. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was like rude of me to put right. the Snyder's. Right. Okay. You just assumed. But they're so good. Also, the <laughs> Snyder's Buffalo ones. <sighs> okay. All right. My my fifth one will be the um, Limon Lays. Ooh, okay those are good they're good i like those i this is a hot take i don't know if you're gonna like this uh my top or my number five is original ruffles i like original ruffles okay they're very salty though yeah but very with salty. french onion dip very good i will it tones down you know what i think i want some wait we have um flame and hot sour cream and onion ruffles would you like me to grab them please we also have cheeto puffs i'll be right back wow we just went in last night oh yeah the bodega went crazy <laughs> uh, so i did this drunk i grabbed we only had one chip clip so i <laughs> i clipped all the chips together ew i got these honey twist chips 
These are disgusting. Do not buy these. Ugh. We have Cheeto Puffs, OG Doritos, and Flamin' Hot Sour Cream and Onion Ruffles. But you kept two chips in here. Oh. Huh. That's <laughs> You're weird silly. of me. This is a mukbang. Or do you say mukbang? Mukbang. I say that. I don't know what's right. I don't know what's right. Oh, there you go. Ready? Mm. Alex, listen to this. That's really nice. It mm -hmm. does something to me. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I love chips. Not spines. <laughs> Those are my chips. <laughs> Just like the topic. Okay, next topic. Best things only women understand. I love this topic so much. It's mm. going to be so good. Favorite things about being a woman. Number one, holding onto your friend's legs when you squat to pee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In That's the stall. Good. That's so good. Alex and I do that once a week. It's my That's favorite so thing. so good. Because it's like... You, you go in to do it and they like, you know, I'm going to do it and I don't have to ask. No. Can it, I hold on to your legs? It's like, you're, that's why you're there. Right. Okay. My first one is, um, free bleeding. That's beautiful. I love just when you no. don't give a fuck. When we're the last like few, we're synced up on our periods. And Finally last, for the first time in 27 years. Right. Crazy. And the last few periods were like, you free bleeding? Mm -hmm. You're free bleeding? <laughs> we're just like on the couch. Just like, like uh, free bleeding. We each got those, um, Thanks. The period yeah thanks period underwear really good so nice so good the, like boxer ones sometimes your period is just so uncomfortable that like you want a free bleed i don't yeah i like rarely use anything at this point unless i'm going out of the house like, exactly yeah uh number two taking off your bra at the end of the day oh yeah oh my god when i used to have knockers mm -hmm. this was the best fucking thing i could only imagine i like couldn't i, I remember thinking like at work like oh my god can't wait to get home and take off my bra damn yeah was there ever a time that you could go without one god no not even like a hoodie no no way that's crazy it's just so inappropriate that's like what the you're you're yes uh, why it stopped you i understand um okay my number two <laughs> <laughs> farting or pooping after hanging out with a guy hey no the release <laughs> oh. When you get to your car after like oh, leaving his or house. Or the taxi or ride the home. You're just like. <laughs> and it's like, it's easily like a 15 second. Just like. <laughs> do you flate your stomach? You're like. Gastro, oh my like, God. Oh. That's so good. That's a shit. Um, number four or three. Sorry. Dropping pictures in the group chat. Asking for caption ideas. Yep. Aw. I love being a woman. That's Me so cute. Too. That's so good. Um, my number three is knowing absolutely everything that's in your best friend's closet. Ooh, love that. We know everything in each other's closets. Men would never know that about their no. other guy. Ever. No. We all just know. We all just know. Okay, what do I wear tonight? Okay, what if you wore that one top you wore to this thing that we went to last week? And then, like, you know how to, like, reference everything. Uh -huh. Like, I could fully build an outfit for Alex right now with my eyes closed. Yep. Knowing what's in her fucking closet and love vice that. versa. Like, I love, I love women. Bonding with strangers in the bathroom drunk. Oh, yeah. It's my favorite thing that's like changed my outlook on life yep like There's the been, compliments that you give people mm -hmm. in it's the bathroom like life altering yes mm -hmm. it turns around your night i've had nights where like i'm kind of going south for whatever reason there's just this random girl that's just like bitch you look so good like right. slay slay let's go outside and, like, <laughs> uh, and i'm like you're right like i don't, I don't miss him anymore like oh i love women okay my fourth one putting your just putting your hair up <gasps> let me get this out of the way get out of the way putting your get. hair up after a long day, right after you take off your bra, like going off Alex's thing, mm. like taking off the bra, get it out of my face. I'm ready to just like literally get. Oh, it's the closest thing we'll ever get to just like ripping it all out when it's irritating us. Yeah. Getting it out of your face. Love that. That's so a great. good one. Uh, Number five. Wait, can I add like a little? Yes. 4B to that. Um, Asking other women for hair ties <gasps> or a tampon. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, My last pick, making up nicknames for love interests. Oh, my God. You're. You're looking at the oh, two queens of that queens. right here. Should we um, just like quick ramble a couple names that we've come up with in the past? Okay. Um, Greek. Greek. Oh, God. Greek. I still think about them. Me too. Greek. Uh, Tanner is obvious. Tanner is an obvious one. Um, do you remember Brick Oven? Brick Oven. Is it not Ring a Bell? No. no. Who is that? Okay. Brick. That was like. Brick. Early, early. Um God, we've had so many even on this podcast. You guys get what we're trying to say, though. Disco, like, disco, disco, had, yeah. disco had a moment for a minute. Disco, a moment for a minute. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Ugh. It. That's top five. Yeah. Okay, wait. My fifth. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> Are you ready? Taking off your underwear after 
a heavy discharge day. <gasps> Getting the like, oh Get my it God, like off. usually it's like around ovulation. Like we all discharge a little bit more around ovulation and you just want to get that underwear off that you've been in for like far too long. Mm hmm. And it's just like such a good one. It like rips off. And you throw it in your hamper and you're a little mad, mad at it. Right. You're like, fuck you. <laughs> and then you like when you were when it dries like days later when you're doing your laundry and you yes. see it like going into the washer. No, I was doing laundry the other day and there was a cute guy doing laundry next to me. Did you drop your discharge underwear? Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? If you can't handle it, grow the fuck up. No, no but it he, was. He probably didn't even know it, it was. was. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, did you sneeze? <laughs> Is that a tissue? Is that a tissue? <laughs> She reusable tissues what is it oh, oh my, my god. god no i've i make sure that every man i'm like involved with yeah. understands what discharge is right like tanner completely completely good. understands what discharge is good and you gotta let him know it's healthy yeah it's, it's you're supposed it's to it's a self-cleaning this. organ if you don't have discharge it's actually bad yeah like it's good to have discharge normalized discharge <laughs> we when we play cards one of the card games that we play um you have to like discard at the Wait, end here's sentence when we play cards <laughs> one of the card games that we play <laughs> When we're playing cards, we play games, card games. <laughs> With cards. Um, <laughs> you have to discard at the end of your uh, turn, and <laughs> we, we call it discharging. Yep, we're like, oh, wait, did you discharge? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Okay, give me and a second. There's been a couple of times where, like, we've played with people who we, like, teach, and, like, I've let it slip. <laughs> hey, did you discharge? I'm like, what? Oh, did you discard? <laughs> No, I, I, I taught my my cousin at my grandpa's funeral mm -hmm. and <laughs> yeah, I let it slip. And it, I had met him like twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. Yeah. Like they can't even like understand where your humor right. is coming from. And he was probably like, oh, she just lost her grandpa. It's like fine. she's grieving. Like, it's <laughs> Everybody's grieving looks different. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Next subject. Attractive things men do. I was like mm. smiling while writing this. No, list. I was like, I sent this to. Uh, do we give him a, a nickname? Uh, oh, his middle name. Yeah, Brock. Brock. Uh, I sent it to him, and he was like, "Yeah, I do all those things." No. <laughs> <laughs> I sent it to Tanner, and he was he, he literally sent like smiley faces. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the input. Right. Thanks for the tips. Uh, I think you're up. <coughs> okay, this one I feel like I need to like display a little bit when they grab the side of your face. Like this, like they're facing you and they grab your side of your face and their thumb Ooh. is like here Ooh. and then their fingers are in your hair, <gasps> but like wrapped under your ear, like, like yep. that, you know? Yep. And they're like in your hair and they just like grab your face and kiss you. Love it. Grab my fucking head. Oh yeah. Grab my head. Yes. Yes. Grab my face. Yes. Um, okay. My first spot is leaning on the door frame, mm. arms up and you like get a little of their like. Like midriff. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> I love that it's one. So good. It's so good. Ooh, you're gonna like this one. When they take their shirt off from the back. Ooh, like the over the head pull. Over the head pull from the back no. of the neck. Like, do it again and oh. do it again after that. Yep. Like, oh, oh man, it's I so love hot. It. It's so hot. Um, okay, I know we've like talked about this one before. This this is number two. Um, when he touches the small of your back when he's passing, like yeah. walking past you. I literally time a, stops. No, time stops and a random person can do it at a bar and I'm immediately attracted. I'm like, we have a thing. No, literally, you're you, in love with you me. You love me and I love you too. Ooh, touch Ooh, me there. Touch my lower back. Yes. Ooh. Number three. I love it when men clean. Oh, yeah. I love, I love like vacuuming. Like, literally anything. Like when Tanner was here. Yes. He went, no, I was kind of attracted. Right. <laughs> right. When he went into the kitchen, he started doing dishes. Oh my god. And I didn't even ask. Whoa. So hot. Panty dropper. No, for sure. No, waterworks. You want to go to the bedroom? Yes. <laughs> After you finish the fucking dishes though, like they need to be done, but like right. hot. I love when so hot. They take the initiative to like clean up the space. Mhm. Mm and don't have they to be told. They're, they're they see it too. Right. Like they they value a clean space as much as me. Oh. Daddy. Hot. Um, okay, number three, when they're like playing a sport and they are like leaning over and they wipe their sweat with their shirt. Like this? Yep. They go like that. Yep. Yes. Or like from the from the like the bottom of the shirt. They oh, lift and they it lift up. up and then you see their little midriff again. That D. Yes. Hot. Oh my primal. God. Primal. So primal. You were, you were no, literally your sweat because you were working come out. Like pick me up. Like I smell the pheromones. Like Yes. Ugh, Ooh, I love sweaty so men. So hot. Heart. Um, okay, this one. God, I should have brought a hat out here. Oh, I already they, love it. I love hats. Oh my God, yeah. Fuck. But when they readjust their hat. So the hat's already on. 
They take it off, fix the hair, slip it back on from the back. <gasps> I'm going to sit on my microphone just to show. Like, grab the back like this, and, like, they take it off, fix, put it back on, and they hold it, but then they put it back with this hand. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Just, like, the quick readjustment oh. of the hat. Like, take and it you off. Could, you could, like, oh. see the beehive when it... Ooh. So fucking hot. It's so hot. Men with hats are so hot. Hats make you like three points hotter immediately on oh, the scale yeah. of one to ten scale, not three points out of a hundred out of ten. Out of ten. Yeah. 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 Um, when he can shotgun a beer quickly. Hot. And it doesn't phase him. And he's just like <laughs> afterwards. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's oh my God. some primal shit. It's some primal uh, shit. I think I'm gonna make out with someone tonight. No should we i got the bartender's number last night oh yeah oh my god (laughs) he was so no i so i i went out to get a drink and i was just like in a flirty mood and i was just like sitting on the bar like Like just watching him just watching him and he comes up to me and he's like you're what are you doing he like knew and i was like nothing um can i get a uh gin and tonic and then i was like actually can you just like get a little creative i I like gin for cosmo Cosmo and Wanda. <laughs> um, no, and he was like, no, I could get a little creative. Uh, and we were just like such good banter back and forth. Got his number. Secured the bag. Mind you, though, I tried the drink he made. I mean, it was a basic. It was like. It was literally gin like, with lemon juice. Yeah, he like definitely didn't get creative. <laughs> <laughs> but like so hot. Yeah, whatever. He probably knows how to shotgun a beer. So it's right. fine. That's all that matters. You're at like a, a party. You're probably in like a garage, right? And you're with him. You're with all the homies, whatever. And he's sitting on one of the bar stools, like with his legs open. Mm, I already know where you're going with this. And he pulls you over. Yeah. In between his legs. Yep. And, and you're just like. keeps you there. And you're eye, eye level. level. And he just keeps you right there. And he's like continuing a conversation. Talking, but like, wants yes. Wants you close. Woo! No, I'm getting all hot and thirsty. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's. Whoa. Yeah yeah mm. specifically mm. oh my god that's so good Kristen. Mm-hmm. okay top five for me or number five uh when you're holding hands and he scratches the back of your hands oh yes or like squeezes your hand like plays with your fingers it's more than just holding hands yeah like you're like your, um your mind's the fat like there at the fact that you guys are holding hands yeah because like i'm thinking about it we're holding I hands love that. yep Ooh. I so holding hands for me kind of hurts. Uh, it's not this hand. It's my left. Wait, which hand is it? Yeah, my left hand. My pinky. I have like a weird. I should get it checked <laughs> out. I have like a vein that kind of like pops out and kind of hurts oh, ever so often. So holding hands for me on the left side is like actually very uncomfortable. So switch hands. I'm going to show you. I I don't like hold hands a lot with men. I do this. Yes, I do the pinky I, in the middle of me. Or what is this? Pinky and ring finger, and I hold like that. Okay, and that's I, how I hold hands. I prefer. Oh, like, you're a clasper. I'm a clasper. If, I'm not a. In, I don't like intertwining. I'll if I'm gonna hold hands, I'll do this. I yeah, I don't. I don't clasp. I'll clasp with friends. Okay, but like with men, and you have to go under. Absolutely. I have to go under too. I feel like girls go under. I'm not leading you. No, you fucking lead me. But I, I like. I like this. Yeah, that's this cute. This is like my favorite thing to do. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Ooh, and when they have big hands. Yes. Also, your hands are really warm, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> your hands are always way too warm. I run hot. I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> my head hurts. Wow. Ooh, I want to hang out with a boy. Oh, I thought you were about to say another. Oh, wait, is that our last for this category? Yeah, but like I want to keep talking about it. Do you have other it. ones? No. Like, Do you? I, yeah, I'll yeah, say, I'll say my, other, my other two more. Other two more. What? <laughs> um, my backups were Bacticles. Ooh. Love a good Bacticle. Yeah, and when he like wants to. Right. Like yeah. I don't want to have to tell you. I don't But I'm going to tell you either way. But like when you just do it without me telling you. Like Cute. 10 points hotter. And um, when they take off your shoes for you. <gasps> I really like when guys do that. Love that. It's like really endearing for me. <sighs> okay. Last category. <laughs> Recess activities. Woo! This was actually kind of hard for me to channel. Oh, I really? I had to like really try and remember and like. Got you. You know, I still did it. But like I don't have any extra. So hopefully we don't say the same because it, it was hard for me. I don't have extra either. Okay. But it's okay. Let's see. Okay, um, my top spot is hot lava. Ooh, like the floor is lava. <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah, no, it's good. The floor. Have you ever watched the show? Yes, yes. Oh you showed so, me it. Yes, you it's showed so me good. That. It's so good. My number one spot is um tether ball. Oh, that's on my list too. Shit. That's number okay. five. Whatever. We'll just have overlaps for this one. Um, tether ball was the one I was really good at, so that's why it's mm. at the top for me. I like I I really did always win. Like I was really good at that one. Yeah. And I have a scar on this knee. It's like right above my kneecap on my right leg. Um, do you remember Amanda Montoya? Yes. So we were in like third grade, and we were like super close back then, and we were playing one v one, and 
it got to the point of the tetherball when like the strings hella short and like you're about to like loop them <gasps> yeah and, like, you're about to win that's how you win and i went to go like block she was about to loop me, the bitch <gasps> right no she's actually a really cool girl i'm kidding um so i went to go block it but do you remember so the tetherball pole has three different loops to adjust where you want to clip the yes so like if, like little kids want to play you go to the lower one and so on there was a the lowest one that we obviously weren't playing on because we were taller and i ran into it with this leg and it split my skin whoa right as that happened the bell rang we were like fuck we have to go to class but i looked down at it and it was definitely bleeding more than i was comfortable with and i started freaking out oh so i ran to the bathroom she came with me we completely like ditched class because we were like what do we do like for some reason we were like afraid to go to the nurses (gasps) i don't know why and it was just gushing and like like it was one of those type of cuts where you saw like layers of skin no way I'll, i'll show you the scar it's pretty bad and we were just wrapping my leg with toilet paper and then a yard duty came in and was like what are you guys what are you girls doing like class started we were in like the big stall and we opened it and amanda was like crying oh like, no. i was like there was like blood everywhere I, was, like, I hurt myself and they're like why don't you guys go to the nurses she walked us there i obviously ended up being fine whatever but that's Aww. i always think about that with tetherball. tetherball it's cool i have the scar like right this many years later like Tetherball's in my blood. <laughs> Damn your tetanus For too. the game. I got tetanus. No, yeah, that's crazy. I, need, I never got a shot for anything. <laughs> okay, number two, four square. <gasps> Fuck. Number two is four square for me too. Really? Oh. That's fun. So fun. And like like you with Tetherball, I was fucking, like, I'm going to win. I i was good and i will stay i don't, I, I don't think i was good i we had four square like we had the painted lines at uh, my elementary school and like the bell would ring and i like we would race to go and stand in like the a spot yes so that like i would be the first person to start yep and like i would stand there and i would be there all of reese i wouldn't leave yeah you were a hog yeah i was a hog and usually like (laughs) playgrounds at least mine like we only had like two four square things and like there was a phase of life where everybody wanted to play right no but so, i like, wouldn't leave exactly so oh god <laughs> no four we wouldn't good. have gotten along on a playground i don't think <laughs> i didn't play that much oh i wasn't a, i wasn't a, like that's what i'm saying like this was really hard for me i was good at tetherball all these other ones like i've played and i enjoy but like th- honestly this category wasn't that good for me oh i just like i like i sat with friends like leanna and okay. i would just sit together and we would just like talk or we'd like color okay it wasn't like a uh like an activity i was like let's w- go walk around and just like hang out with me friends. and Paige were big on the sports like sports big activities i never cared leanna and i would also walk the mile together like leanna and i didn't give a <laughs> fuck um my number two was four square so should i just go to three and then you'll yeah. also skip to the ball okay my number three um this one isn't much of a sport this one i was very passionate about and would bring with myself anywhere with chalk hopscotch Ooh, hopscotch that's good. was my favorite my grandma like obviously taught me how to play and like she would like go draw it out on the street for me but something about hopscotch at school was kind of flirty oh yeah no like i was cute like that's right. like why i like doing it at school because and like, like <laughs> one of my like school uniforms was a skirt and like what no literally and like you would just you'd like hop? jump up a little bit and it would like just flood the the just lightest like, little <laughs> flutter <laughs> yep no, no. It, hopscotch was like you're fucking flirty <laughs> Um, okay, I actually have one that I could swap out for tetherball. Okay. Jump rope. Oh, jump rope was like, good. Like with people. Yes. Like the long jump rope and you get um, like three Double dutch. Double dutch. Ooh. And you have to like run. You have to like get the rhythm of like, yes. okay, I'm going to go in. I did like, I did like that. And, and you're like, you're standing on the sidelines. And you're like, all right, I'm going to hop in. Watch. Right. And you're right. like, you run towards it and you get in and it's just the best. So you get adrenaline. You look so cool. It's always so cool. It's like, even if I saw adults playing double dutch, like you're still just as cool yeah it's 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 a cool game i played that a lot i didn't play it at school but i played that a lot with my neighbors Mm. that was a good like in the middle of the street game for me um my number four is dodgeball dodgeball's good dodgeball was fun i'm going back like middle school now that was what we played when there was rainy days yes you got to go into the gym and everyone's in sweats everyone's in sweats and it's like cozy and like but you're like staying dry dodgeball was like so you can fucking nail the bitch you hate and you can't get in trouble for it if like you're having a little bit of beef with someone or like the guy you like is like annoying you, you like like throw it at the, him, oh. like get him out. And it was such a diss when you got somebody you didn't like out. I'd be like, yes, huh, you're out. And I did that. <laughs> like, oh, that was like big. Such like, a power move. Yes. Dodgeball got my aggression out. And I had a lot of that as a kid. Um. Okay. My, I think I'm, I think I'm on four is kickball. 
Ooh, kickball was good. Kickball. Oh, I can hear it. The big, the like, red ball. The red. I can hear it right the now. The red kickball. Oh my god! Ugh. The way your shit would sting by the end of that day, like your ankles. Oh yeah. Like from because like you want you went to go kick with your foot right, but like no, you ended up kicking with like your shin. Right. Like it was like it was a big ass ball. You're a kid. Like oh my god, I can hear. Do you remember it. our kickball day, uh, like a year two years ago? Oh yeah. That was so oh my we god. went and played with like JC and all them. And we did shrooms. And we did shrooms. <laughs> And we smoked a cigarette in your car. Oh, <laughs> I had just got a new car too. Yep. I think it was only Brand like, new car. It was probably like three months tops old. Top. Cause I got it in March and that was like summer. Yep. And we met up with Remember me, me and Zane were smoking a cigarette yeah, in the Zane back of the, in the car. In the dugout too. Yes. <laughs> No, me and Zane were chain smoking that day. <laughs> we were just all like mush playing yep. fucking kickball. That was such a good day. It was so fun. <coughs> Cigarette smoke's coming up right now. <coughs> okay. Um, this one isn't a sport, but I definitely still consider it. This is my last one, by the way. Still consider it like a recess activity. Fights. <gasps> I loved. Oh, I couldn't watch. Oh, I could. No. <laughs> when you were in class and someone was like, hey. Alex and Kristen are going to fight at lunch. The Whoa, gossip Kristen. that went around. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be first in line. No everybody would sprint to the quad or like wherever it was about to go down. And like they, everybody, it'd be like, like a hoe down. Like it felt like <laughs> an old Western movie. Like they'd be like a tumbleweed would go by for some reason. And like two people would just be looking at each other like, you ready? <laughs> And they would just like go in. Duke it out. Right. <laughs> oh, I loved watching oh. school fights. I like, I couldn't watch and I would, I'd be like in my head, obviously. I'd be like, oh, but please don't fight. Can you just talk about it? Oh no. Oh. It was so, only boys. I didn't like it when oh, girls yeah. fought. Oh, cause it gets. It's messy yeah. and like. The hair pulling. Yeah. I, I didn't like it when girls fought, but like, a, I don't know. Honestly, a lot of the fights that I saw of boys growing up were also like. They'd be friends, but they'd still just be like, should we fight? Yeah. Like, I like like that. No, me and Brie used to fight. Exactly. Like, I'm <laughs> talking about that. I'm not talking about, like, actual, like, oh, yeah. trying to beat their hurt ass. Some, that's different. Like, do you remember at, um, what, what was the event off, um, Pleasant Hill Road? Do you remember that church? Yes. What oh, my God. What was the event that <gasps> when we would go to every year? Um, the, the, uh, uh, what's the school? The C, um, Something something fest. Yeah. See something something fest. See si, 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 <laughs> Damn near. Um, what's the school? C T K Fest. C T K Fest. Christ the King Fest. C T K Fest. The C T K Fest in Pleasant Hill. Oh. We go to every year. But what the reason I brought that up is because that's where I didn't like fights was the one time we went and Zarina and Bree were gonna like <gasps> they fought, but it was like it was like a messy fight and like they actually wanted to hurt each other. That, I, that's where I agree with you when I'm like, I can't fucking watch this. Like y'all need to talk it out. Yeah. But like, I just liked it when boys did it. Like yeah. it was always like, just like, like kind of hot. Boy, like, no, oh, for sure. Right. If he could fight. If he can fight and he was a skater. <gasps> I'll ditch class with you. That was my type. Yeah. Hot, hot. Very hot. Ugh. Okay. That was my last one. Do you, you probably have one more, right? Okay. So that was my fifth. Never mind. Sorry guys. Got mixed up on that one. Cause we had an overlap. Wow. This was fun. I feel nostalgic now. Me too. We, we went nostalgic for a lot of these different we categories. Did. We did. Oh my God. This was such a good episode. The draft picks trend on TikTok right now is like so fucking I love it. funny. So, hey, we'll do a part two if you really Hell want. Hell yeah. It just felt good to do something lighthearted. Yeah. We needed this. Kind of, kind of like brainless. Yeah. Brainless and. Because a lot of the time, the heavy hungover. ones, like I, we get out of recording and I'm like, oh, my heart hurts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Which we like a lot on the brain for sure, and you know we we put ourselves through it. Like we're not right. asking for pity here, but like it's we don't press we don't stop pressing record and just like go on with our day. Like a no. lot of these episodes, the deeper ones, like change us and like yeah. make us really rethink a lot of things. And um, it's heavy. It's heavy. So it's nice to do things like that and uh, or like this. I mean. And literally be hungover with Aperol spritz and look at no, all this fucking wait junk to, food. Do you want to like table. go out after this? Well, we're gonna go watch the game, right? What time is it? Yeah, but not till six, and I can't stay. I think I need a nap. Are I, you serious? I feel like my eyes are like closing right now. I'm really tired <laughs> okay. right now. I'm gonna take a little nappy poo, and then we're gonna go watch the Cowboy and Niners game. Yeah, I'm gonna wear uh, my Raiders gear though, because I'm gonna be a Raiders pest as we are. I'm gonna wear. I might wear a Canadian tuxedo. 
That's okay. what I was thinking. Just like all that's denim. very cowboy. Wear your like, cowboy boots and your cowboy, cowboy hat. hat. Yeah, that's cute. That's I'll do cute. that. I'll do. I'll, I'll look like a cowboy just for the cowboys. My cowboy. Da- I wanna be a cowboy, cowboy baby. baby. Ooh, some Kid Rock. I can fuck up some Kid Rock right now. I'm tired. I want it to be summer. I want to go to the lake. Summertime. In the living ZZ. Spring break. <laughs> oh, Patreon. Oh, hey, Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah patreon if you don't know we have a um, oh also God, this yeah. is odd vice the podcast oh, yeah. i'm kristen <laughs> i'm alex and um if you don't know what <laughs> we have a patreon what we have a patreon we have a bit we have a patreon and, and we do we an extra do episode each week on there if you want to if you want to join and we do, and zoom we do calls and some calls with with our highest tier is, our like, highest is tier. like breathing yeah, she's fine. She's she literally dead. breathing. <laughs> Link, are you dead? Um, Patreon, send us in more categories. We're going to do it. Uh, send them in by Wednesday. Yeah, I'd say by Wednesday. By Wednesday. Um, and we'll make a few more lists for a few more categories. We'll pick like some really good ones. Send us literally anything. And as always for Patreon, if like you don't want to do that and you just want some advice on something you can also oh, always yeah. send in like general questions too if you want to do that but yep. i also really like this topic i think you guys are hopefully will too so i'd love to continue something lighthearted like this right let us know if there's anything you would add to these subjects that we said too oh yep all right guys i'm gonna go take a little nap before we go out she's falling asleep i'm literally falling asleep it's because <laughs> i had so many geno bumps <laughs> i love you guys happy monday have a great week if you're on Patreon, we'll talk to you soon. But if not, we'll talk to you guys next Monday. If you're on <laughs> Apple Music or Spotify, please rate us five stars. It helps us out a lot. And if you're on YouTube, please subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment. comment. Leave a little stinky little poopy comment down below. All right, guys. <laughs> love you so much. I'm falling asleep. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.